everyone. Here's book book number 225. The title of today's book is The Chicken Thief by the author Beatri Beatrice Rodriguez. Since this is a wordless picture book, my brother Caleb is going to do today's book book. Here he is. Hi, I'm Caleb, ECBC's wordless picture book guy. In this story, we'll still Bonnie, Bear, and Chicken are friends, and they are enjoying a sunny day at their cottage. But then a fox stole chicken and ran holding chicken tightly in his arms. And all of chicken's animal friends run after the fox. They run through the forest, then the mountains, and all through the day. And then finally, they reach the ocean at nighttime. After a long journey, the animals finally catch up with fox and chicken and they find them in the fox's den playing chess. Together, all together the animals' friends find out that fox and chicken have come to like each other quite a bit, and so they say goodbye to, their, to the pair pear, and go home. <clears throat> in case you don't know by now, I love all these picture books. It is so fun to add your own words to a really good story that is told only through the pictures. This well, this picture book has such a great story and it's really funny too. The characters all show much attention, so much emotion, and it's so fun to imagine what the animals might be saying to each other. My favorite part of the story is how all the animals are chasing the fox and how the chase goes on and on and on and on. I also like the surprise twist at the end and how the fox is actually not a bad guy like you expect him to be. There are also some important messages in this book, like that you can become good friends with someone that you don't expect would be your friend, and that how things appear on the outside might not be how it really is. Please donate this awesome wordless picture book to the library that ECBC is building at Chalk Children's Hospital. The Chicken Thief is actually the first book in a trilogy, and it would be great to have the two follow-up books called called uh, call, called Fox and Hen Together and and Rooster's Revenge. I'm trying really hard to build a fantastic collection of wordless picture books for the hospital library. They're fun for working on storytelling and writing skills. And, and so great for kids who can't read. And a great option for all the non-English speaking patients at the hospital. Thank you.